All right, people, welcome to, what number is it? Four? four part four, I think, of feeding all my tarantulas. And I ain't really feeding all of them, but I'm feeding a lot of them. Um, here's the roaches, we got all different sizes. Um, so, here's an Afona Palma Chalcotes. This is known as the Arizona or Mexican Blonde, common name. I don't like common names. I know a lot of them. Yeah, keep them guarded. Here is the Ponapelma Chalcotes. It's hungry. Yep. There we go. Boom. Smooth takedown for our little man. All right. Y'all bear with me. I'm going to move as fast as I possibly can so we can get some of this stuff taken care of. Here's a male that's fixing to go out. This is a Petrina Pelma Sazamai. This is James. He's going to go get, make bunches and bunches of babies somewhere. If he's hungry, he's got a sperm web in there. And he's not hungry. I don't know why he's not hungry, but alright, it is what it is. I'll take that over there then. You can go to somebody else. Unless you get to see a Petrina Palma says of mine. Okay, then we got a. Here is a female. Pampabedius SP Macala. Pampabedius SP Macala. These are heavy hitters. I love the Pampos. I don't like the hair. I love the Pampos. And if a Pampo ever gives you that, we'll get that later. We'll get it later. If a Pampo ever gives you that, then. That means that it is um, in pre malt. So, I was not going to eat. Here is another female Pampabedius SP Macala. It might also be in pre malt, I'm not sure. You can see it up there on that log. Um, yeah, surefire sign of pre malting. It will be malting soon. So, we're going to go to the next one. Give me a moment. What do we have here? This is a male Pampa BDSSP Macala. Males are always hungry because I've been feeding them a lot less than I've been feeding the females. Just because I want to be able to breed them. So, this one should give you all a hit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Check it out. This is known as the purple bloom, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Got a smooth takedown for you guys. Here is another male Ampabedius SP Macala. Notorious hair kickers. Y'all even see that? Or was that fast, too fast for you? Don't run up my arm or leg or nothing. So there's that one. Um, he's got another feeder in there. He'll eat it. I'm gonna let one of them grow a little bit faster than the other one so I'll have different sizes of males. I have four males and two females of this species. There's another one. Walk the plank, Roach. Whoa! <laughs> he hit my tweezer instead of the... instead of what he was supposed to, so... Maybe he'll be right this time. There you go. Don't see that? I'm gonna get, the, get this other one as well. Yep. So fast. Pampos are awesome. Highly recommended to anybody who don't want to use them as a training tool that they hold and handle because of their hair. They kick hair and it's urticating hair and it's kind of uh, unpleasant. Here's another male. And he's got that one. He's got a male roach and I'll give him a female. Yep, he's got a male and a female roach there as y'all can see. And y'all can see how pink it is. Absolutely awesome, right? Right? Am I right or am I right? I'll leave it in the comments below. That's your only two choices. Right or right? 
thumbs up and share if we're right. Here we have um, Brachiopelma albopelosums. These are Nicaraguan curly hairs. Another species I highly recommend to anybody who loves tarantulas. The collection is not complete without one of these hard hitters as you can see. Absolutely amazing. These are uh, females. Some of them eat one, some of them eat multiples. I like the ones that eat multiples. Um, that's a female. So, here is a another. This is a male bracket of my elbow pelosum. I'm going to try to keep all the elbow pelosums together for a moment for you guys. Whoop, that one, that one ran. Which is not good. There we go. We got it off cam. Sorry about that. Right here in this little corner. And you got it. It's eating it. So it don't matter if the food stuff is a little bit big on a elbow pelosum. They don't play. We're going to have to get all these. All right, we have another elbow pelosum that I'm just going to drop my food, food stuff in here with because I don't know where it's at, but it's in there. That one is a female as well. What is this, more elbow? Mm -hmm. Elbow pelosum. Another female that I don't see. They like to dig. Sometimes you see some of them, sometimes you won't. Um, there's that one. Then we got another female Brachypoma elbow pelosum. If y'all can't have it guessed by now, I really love the Brachypoma elbow pelosums. They have a very, very good amount of them. You can see why I absolutely adore them. They're cute, they're fuzzy, they're cuddly. And they bust it wide open. Bust it wide. Hey, hey. Bust it wide yeah, open, baby. We got, um, here's Harry. Brachiopoma elbow pelosum. I named a lot of my tarantulas after, uh, fans and fans. <laughs> Let me see. Um, Here's this one. I'm trying to get it on film for you guys. Go quit running. And he tried to get that, and then he decided not to. Don't decide not to. You're on film. Everybody's watching. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Upside down. Upside down and inside out. I'm about to show you what you post for. It's all time. Pretty cool, right? Y'all like upside down takedowns? If you do, please share this video. Leave it in the comments below how badass it is to get it upside down. Thing. I decided to do this with you guys because I didn't want to do it without you. Here's Sarah. How about Pelosi? Named after my biggest fan. My baby girl. Um, I don't know where Sarah is, so I'm just dropping that in there. He's in there somewhere. He's in there somewhere. That's a boy. Um... Here is another Brachypoma Albo Pelosi. This is number 11. Y'all can see how they got their different enclosures done. Uh, this one's dug a, dug a hole in here. You forgot to say George and then Becky from DA. Where? Did we put them over there already? Yep. I don't want to move this. Alright, yep. We fed a Becky already. We fed a George. Where's George? Oh, yeah. We fed a George and we fed a Becky. We fed a Sarah and a Harry. Um, I'm not reading the name. Sorry. Here's the bracket on my elbow pollution number five. If you see one with a name, wanna tell me when I'm doing it. As I'm doing it, so I can give credit for loving fans where it's due. Oh, did y'all get to see that back in the distance or like right here? Right here? I hope y'all are enjoying this absolute awesomeness. Allison. Here goes Allison. As in badass Cuthbert. <laughs> Harry Check this and out. George are very lucky to have a wonderful mother. Yes, you guys they are. need a hug her neck right now and tell well, her that you love her. And look at Allison. Don't piss her off. Because she's boss. She can take down multiples at once. I know she can. Don't let me down, Allison. That's what I thought. That's all I thought. <laughs> uh.
Allison don't play, and she's been known. Andy. Here's Andy from DEA Exotics. This is also a bracky for my Walmart boy, some a male. We'll feed him a male if he's hungry. He might be in pre malt I'm not sure. We'll find out in a moment. Yep, definitely pre malt We'll leave that one. Yep, he's in pre malt So we'll let him malt. We're not feed him. What else we got? Who's next? This is not. What is this? And this is a this is an Acanthoscuria geniculata, also a male, and a very fat male at that. He might or might not eat something. I don't know. I'm gonna try to talk and feed this one. Let me see. Oh yeah, I guess he is greedy. Do let go of my tongs? Yep, that one's greedy with that big fat butt. Um, yep, that's a Acanthoscuria geniculata. Absolutely awesome, Tarantula. Love those guys. What do we got here? I don't know why that one was mixed up with the G Poultry. Well, there's a G Poultry. This is Ray from Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas. Um, that's a male. Grandma Stella Poultry. This is a bigger one. If you watch the other videos, you'll see some of the smaller ones. So we're going to give him a girl. Yep. Really nice, right? Put another one in here. Oh, you can take two down. Take it down. Get it, Ray. Come on. You got this, Ray. Ray, you got this. I knew you had it. Yes. Look at him. If that was a dubio, I could say he was smoking a dube. <laughs> but it's a rusty red, unfortunately, so more like a split. Do <laughs> they make splits anymore? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? What is this down here? This is a Lassadora Perihide Banner. Commonly called a um, LP. I got power feed on there because I want to power feed it to get it bigger and mature faster. I have a mature male of this BC already, which I'll be doing a breeding here shortly with. And there y'all go off cam almost, but still you get to see that it, LPs don't play. I highly recommend them to anybody who wants to have a badass tarantula that takes down stuff all the time that you don't want to handle because they got badass irritating hairs that affect a lot of people differently. I inhaled a bunch of them the other day and it caused me to throw up for a long time. We sucked. Um, we go over there. Yep, there we go. That little LP got one. So you are getting to see lots of takedowns. Um, in one video, and a lot of different videos spanned out. What do we got here? This is one of my favorites right here. This is a Formectibus cancerides. Very badass tarantula. Golden in color. Bronze, kind of. And as y'all can see, she don't play. She takes down roaches all day. And drop another one in there. Oh, she missed it. She missed it. Beautiful girl. Drop one more in here. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. Well, it can fit more. Well, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's going to get it. That's a Formictibus cancerides, and it's a male. I'm sorry. Not a female, it's a male. Awesome tarantula, though. Absolutely love them. We have an Acanthoscuria aratus over here. I mean, a Acanthoscuria, I'm sorry. A Formictipus aratus. Got a Acanthoscuria on the brain. Oh, we have a molt, people. We have a molt. I'll just go ahead and take that. Yes, I will. Oh. Put her a brooch in there because she's probably hungry. Yes, yeah, she's busting it open. Can you come out and show people what you look like? Can you come out of there and show people what you look like? Aratus looks a lot different than the uh, um, Cancerides. 
as y'all can see, it's got a little bit slightly different color, more purples to it instead of uh, purple with pinkish, reddish hair and purple hair and then it's still got that golden carapace. Absolutely awesome. Um, I think for mixtivist species are well, way underrated. I absolutely love them. Can't imagine life without them. Um, so that's that one. That's a female, by the way. So I have a male Cancerides and a female Aratus. I will not be breeding the two together. If any of you were wondering, I don't do that. I'll be looking for some of them. What is this? This can only be one thing. Yep. This can only be one thing with this kind of webbing going on, people. This is a Usambra orange baboon, also known as the orange bitey thing, also known as the OBT. Let's see if they got it on there. And Mikey started to name it IV. Is it on the camera? No. It's not? Yeah, well, it's in its mouth, so I'm sorry I missed that for you guys. I'm having a hard time filming and getting all this stuff going. Yeah, there you go. It's upside down eating, by the way. Just so you guys know, um, that is the OBT. I love she. We'll be breeding her soon. Another malt. Another malt she'll be getting bred. And then we have a, here we go, here's a Nandu Colorado Belosis. This is a male. Male Nandu Colorado Belosis. Um, I'll get a bigger feed stuff for this one. Bigger food stuff. Off the tongs. It's hungry. It should be hungry. Come here. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this guy? Can't see. Whoa. Did you pull a malt out of here? Mm-mm. He must be in pre-malt then. If you don't want that, let's see if he wants this or not. Oh, yeah, he wants it. Never mind, he's just that beautiful. I thought he malted not too long ago. That's the Nandu Colorado Velocis. Absolutely humongous growing species. Awesome, beautiful. Um, so, here is a, is there another Nandu? What is this? Christy Hurt. This is a, our proven breeder, Christy Hurt. Helma Simani. This is what the, the mother of the babies are that a lot of you guys will be buying or getting in the future. Pona Palma Simani. Also known as the Costa Rican stripe leg or. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's a good eater, people. A great eater. Love them. Highly recommend this to anyone, especially because I'm sitting on 320 of them that are ready for shipping now, by the way. So y'all uh, get with me on that. Um, what was this one up here? Yeah. And we got another Nandu Colorado Belosis. Absolutely beautiful. Also a hair kicker. I don't like the way they kick hairs, but hopefully it won't kick hairs right now and it'll just be... Uh, Concentrated on this food, which is exactly what I hope it does. And uh, y'all get ready for a smooth takedown, hopefully. Well, he knows something's in there, but he don't know where it is. We'll just simply run it over to him. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That guy don't play. Put one of these kind in there for him. He can have two kinds of roaches. They will eat multiples. It's cool to watch him go after another one. He's got both of them in his mouth now. Absolutely awesome. These are really red looking, red colored uh, tarantulas. Big, bulky, beefy spiders that are just badass. There's no other word for it. Hope y'all are enjoying this stuff. Um, let me see. How many minutes are left on there? Let's see. This is getting a long video. Well, I only got five minutes left. I meant to stop this. Uh, what do we have in here? This is a B. Vegans, and it's buried, so we're going to skip that one. 
B Baggins is buried. We're gonna skip that one. This is a okay. Here's a bracket Helma homori. This is uh, a little bitty homori. We fed our bigger homori earlier. So we're gonna feed this little girl or boy, whatever it is. And it is in free molts. So I guess we're not gonna be feeding that one. We got to uh, move quickly because my camera is running out of battery and it's running out of other stuff. So here is a Brachiopelma Amelia. This is a male. Brachiopelma Amelia. I know y'all love that kind of stuff. Um, this y'all think this is an epic, uh, epic feeding all my train soldiers video? Please leave it in the comments below what you think. If I'm doing a good job or not, and please hit that like button. Ring the bell so you get push notifications of when I upload. Share my video. It means a lot to me. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, I have a couple more. I'm going to try to squeeze in here real quick if I can. Here is a Brachypoma Vegans, another one that we have a few available. And they are nice. I don't know if it's hungry or not. Well, it's chasing stuff around. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta love the vegans, people. Whoa! <laughs> Hole in one is what I'm gonna call that one. Cause that was badass. Alright, there's the bee vegans number two that I got up there. I don't, they have not sexed that one yet. Here is, we have a Brachypelma homori again. Hopefully it's hungry. If it's not, it's in pre molt. Y'all see when it does not eat. And that one is not in pre molt, obviously. And it is tearing ass on that roach. And it let it go, and now it's hair kicking because it's scared, but it'll go back to it. Alright, that is that. That's a Brachypoma homori number two. We got a lot of homori up in here, people. I love homori. We'll have these available in the future. I don't know exactly when, but we will have them. Um, so just stay tuned to my channel. This is where I'll be advertising them. Here goes this other one. He took it smooth down, as y'all can see. And we're going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, love, and happiness and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my older videos. While you wait for new ones, and most of all, people be yourself because yourself is cool. Edward <laughs> did